I mean, it looks like you'd be the easiest area to hit. Also, make sure you guys are set to do not engage. We got one unit here. You got troops down here. So I think, yeah, pushing this makes the most sense. So yeah, go back to port. The Germans are here, and they're going to want to push the British as hard as they possibly can. What military techs do we want, though? We want to research. Why not motorized? I mean, ah, eh, why not? Should be able to invade in a few days. And then we're going to give that land to Germany too and just have... Okay, the French have landed here. They've taken a port. So again, that's that's nice for us. Please remember to defend the ports though. Like that's... Like France, that's so important that you actually remember to defend the ports. And the AI's taking up all of uh, Scotland. How much of the war are we said to have done? 12%? I'm a little insulted, to be honest. Of course. Oh, yeah, no, the French are just abandoned this area entirely. Like, why wouldn't they, right? Only a fool will want to actually garrison their lands. One more scouting party. Because, like, this, these guys should probably be able to go. London's fallen. It's gone to the French. They are 36%. We keep on losing ships to uh, British aircraft. Why can you not reach here now? The plans declared war on Australia now. So they're going to be at war with the Entente. We have no support. In, really, we have no naval superiority here? We used to have a ton. What happened to that? I still want to invade these provinces. Anything else I'm a little bit more risk averse to. I mean, you still hold London, so that's nice. You're still down at 95, 55. Try not to lose London. Of course, you lost your port, but expecting you to keep the port would be impossible. Nobody's ever kept a port before. We do need you to hold London. Uh, after that, let's research the last level of artillery. You guys come up and around. You got pretty high defense. Our air superiority is affecting you by... 13.5%, which is not horrible. I want to take Cambridge. 
Because AI has lost London, because of course they have. You have too many friends. You have too many men. Got too, got too many of them. Okay, go, go back to port. Double decent amount of manpower left. Let's go take London for the AI. Okay, no, the, the British are taking back the city. Because now they're back to 56% because we, we need to take London. That goes without saying. I think this one Canadian troop might be surrounded. I, he's not stuck because he can get supplies through us. Birmingham was worth 25 victory points. So the city's now under our occupation. Yeah, we'll do something like this. You guys are pushing your way into London. I mean, with Birmingham, I don't think with Birmingham and London, that's going to be quite enough. Okay, the Canadians have landed down here again. They might take Plymouth. It, it is a big might. How much is Oxford? Oxford for five? Yeah, why not? Let, let's see if we can take Oxford. You're not 77%. I do see troops in Brest, though, which I don't like. Do I have docking rights for you? You know what? D give me docking rights. Okay, now we can go back down here. Oh, it's because we had military access through the uh, Canadians before. That's why we were able to see it. That actually all makes sense. I mean, if you, I think if you take Plymouth, that might actually win you the war. I mean, none of you are walking to Plymouth. Are you moving here? No, because that would be too simple. Dover's also worth 10 victory points. Liverpool exists. They have a lot of guys in Italy. I mean, Laurent is probably the only place we can maybe attack. Kill this pretty weak tank division. If we can take Liverpool, that'll also be the death of you. That or Plymouth, I think. I think just like one 10 point victory will be enough for us to win. Are you going to help him out? No helping. Now that Dover's fallen. You can probably like naval invade right now. So I mean it's 11:50, so like this would be the time I'd usually want to shift over. But I mean, we're all like we're so close to finishing this campaign that we might as well just finish it today. And maybe we'll we'll see if we have time to get to uh, AOE two. If we don't, then we'll just uh, play that on um, Friday instead. Because that, that was the other time I was scheduling to play uh, this campaign. Okay, there's still we still have Ruben Lorenz.
Yeah, I could just want to put more units on this. Because there's still people in Laurent now. I mean, Germany's pushed their way through France pretty hard. Spain is joining the Entente. Which means that the French are going to have another front line here. I didn't even notice how far Germany's actually pushed into this territory. So, I mean, it's, it's beautiful to see. So, yeah, this actually probably... Well, you probably actually still have time. Like, I don't, this will probably take less than half an hour. It actually might even take like 15 minutes, we'll see. So thank you for the rifles. Still getting air production. Like, how close is France to capitulating? Right, 82%, but that's because they haven't lost Paris yet. Got 10 divisions coming through. Like, they've got so many people defending all their ports. Which I find very interesting. Prince Federation, okay, they did join the Japanese. The Cobra Spirit Sphere is looking pretty powerful. Eventually, uh, China has to go to war with the Japanese, I'm sure. And this American Civil War, it's still raging on. It hasn't actually concluded yet. Okay, so now you've landed. The rest of you will now join in. Put some Air Force over here. Okay, and we should be able to hold on to this, I would imagine. Okay, and the, uh, the AI's abandoned breast, which makes sense. Yeah, and you need an attack plan, which is, hey, it's basically going to be, like, take over this part of France. Like, we should be good with that. Yeah, and our reinforcements are still on the way. Because, I mean, Germany, Germany just has so many men... Uh, you know what? I guess we'll research this. I mean, we're gonna have so many techs that are finishing up, like, right uh, one after the other. Also, England just looks like a mess right now. Uh, let's fall. I guess with the anti-air upgrade, even though I don't think we have any anti-air at all in the entire army. They have put a lot of troops here, I will admit. But I mean, like, they, their whole line is just fault. Like, Germany can just, like, smash straight through everything at this point. Without really too much to actually have to worry about. You've joined the... You haven't actually joined the war yet. I'm guessing the AI is a little bit scared about going to war. Which, I mean, I can understand. Do we still have the attache with you? Let's recall the attache. Can I send the attache to Spain? Nope, they said no. Probably because they're not actually at war. If they're at war, they would probably say yes. I'm sure, you know what? Research this. Okay, so I mean, you, sur you haven't surrounded Paris yet. But you're doing a pretty decent job. Go take Caen. Oh, gee, there's so many troops here. Send our reinforcements up. Are you a port? You are in a port. Move our way over here. Spain has now joined the war. So now they'll probably send me an attache. 
I'm just curious about what their front line actually looks like. Because, again, if France wasn't pushing their way into Spain, like, that only helps us because... Like, I mean, what else are they going to do? Okay, we're taking Nantes. All these guys will be encircled. I mean, they technically can still escape the port, but... What are the odds of something like that happening, right? Paris has fallen. You guys are considered encircled. You are... Some of you are in multiple combats. Will the AI destroy escape to the port? They might. Italy is not considered a major power here. So Italy will probably just, like, fall immediately. Well, not fall immediately, but they'll, they'll fall with everybody else. Make our way down towards La Rochelle. What they have, AI needs to do is they need to invade, like, Marseille and all these southern cities down here. I mean, I guess we could do it as well. Don't ask for military access, because that's going to give them all this territory up here. Which is not what I want to do. Okay, looks like Indo-Chinese Union has capitulated. Japan took some land, Siam took some land. Nothing too uh, surprising there. Yeah, the AI has, like, a surprising number of troops ready to go for a, um... For naval invasions all around the place. Even though there's no way in hell they'll act... Like, why navally invade when you're clearly losing everything you own? It's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? I mean, Spain is still, like, holding on. Austria sent volunteers to a lot of people. What are you still at war with? You're still at war with Greece and you're still at war with the Yemen. How are you not beating either of them? I don't know. I guess you would never actually join the Cairo Pact, but otherwise they would have uh, lost by now. CSA, I mean, they're still holding on. I have no idea how, but they are. Okay, if we take this province, we'll actually have a direct front line with the Germans, so Germany's going to start flying troops into here. Or at least they should. Thank you all for the equipment. be there in 13 hours and now Germany should start they should start putting troops in here I guess I could just give them the land as well because I mean it doesn't really matter what they control or not Okay, Germany. It's all up to us now. I'm done, I've still done 13%. Germany's done 36. How much do you think it says Canada has done? Six? Eh, I mean, I can, you know, I can see that. I mean, it, I, I mean, can I actually see that? They tried invading Britain 1,500 times. They've lost, they lost every single time until we actually stepped in. So it's a little hard to say for sure. How are... Well, well for, first, where's my navy? You can't actually get down here. Ask for military access. Ask for docking rights. And then the range shouldn't matter once you're trying to send it to a different port. We can see some troops down here, but I wonder if I have any down near, like, Multiplier. God, they have, so, they have so many men in Portugal. And I don't really know why. Is there any other places that look pretty weak? So, you know, like, La Rochelle is going to be a little bit difficult for us to actually take. Detroit has fallen. They still have Chicago. And Cleveland. I have no idea. How are you still alive?
Yeah, so I think we're, we're just going to basically spearhead our way straight down to southern France. This should work, I think. We're missing a... Oh, we're only missing a thousand rifles, so actually it's not so bad. Okay, so Cuba's taking some land. Or they're canceling land lease. Something like that. Yeah, 43%. It's still 19 million against the, like... We've, we've increased our casualties rate by quite a bit. But still, like, we're, like, six million more dead. And this, basically, this should be it. Like, these guys are dead. We're almost towards Marseille. R rocket artillery? I guess we'll go for, like, 1944. I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter what we research, because, like, we've we've won. We haven't taken Lyon, we haven't taken Bordeaux yet, nor we haven't taken Marseille. Those are some major gaps in our, um... Holdings right now. I think they're actually pushing out of Portugal. Can we erode, like, I know you can sometimes erode British legitimacy, but maybe only the Canadians can do that. And we're not able to. Yeah, so just something like this. Again, I don't think Italy is going to count towards a great power. Or at least they shouldn't. The American syndicalists have finally collapsed. It took way longer than imagined. Japan's also taken over all of Australia, so they're doing a pretty decent job. Now you're both going to fight Mexico. Are you going to fight against one another? I don't really know. And they still have Bordeaux. They've almost captured Lyon. I mean, are they gonna capture? I mean, they're, they're close, but you know, no cigar, right? You're you're out with the Entente. Once Australia capitulates, do you think that uh, the Entente will actually white piece them out? Potentially. How much do you guys actually will have? You do have a lot. Mexico has significantly less, but they are um, an actual power, whereas most of uh, the PSAs, the American United States troops, should probably just be like militiamen, which are not actually going to be that good. Mercedes were 20, Bordeaux were 20, I think Lyon's were 25. Yeah, so we'll help out this attack. And now the American News say the Pacific States are now at war with each other. Who's going to come out on top? We'll never know because we're probably not just going to sit here and watch the American Civil War for no reason. Because it's probably going to take way longer than it has any right to actually take. Because you're now at 75. Did we take Lyon? No, we have taken Lyon, Bordeaux, or Marseille. I think even just maybe any one of those cities will be enough. Like, is Marseille enough to claim victory? No, but I bet you we're not like, yeah, we're like exactly, we're at 21. So Bordeaux or Lyon, whatever the next city to fall is, will be the end of the war. 
So I think it's time to bring the Bowies home. There's no reason for you to be down here anymore, as far as I'm concerned. Just take one of the cities. You know, I don't think it's a difficult proposition for you just to just win one of these fights. You're at ninety percent. The game's kind of really loud when we're actually zoomed in all the way like that. And like that, the war is over. Uh, which is nice. So, what are we taking? We're going to take these areas for sure. Let's pay Petrograd. We're going to be Mega Finland. Hell yeah. We got Mega Finland going on. Um, Commune of France. Let's kind of give... Well, I'm going to take... Brittany. I gave that to Germany. You know, that's fine. France will all become German. You've mostly fought... Where's two Sicilies in this list? Two Sicilies can have Italy. Don't hit done. Do not hit done. Portugal can have... Uh, Portugal. Understandably. Union of Iceland. Who even captured that? I don't know. We'll give it to Canada. We'll give that to Canada. We'll give Britain to Canada as well because we'll be nice. Even though the game's like, they don't deserve it. You can tell by how many points it costs for the Canadians to take that land. That they're like, no, don't give them that. I guess the rest of Russia will go to... Germany. What about Chile and Bolivia? I, I guess they're in the Canadian sphere of influence. They're in South America. I think that's close enough to give them the Canadians. So, of course, now you have mega, you know, land. Also, let's open up straight transfer tool just because I know the AI claims on this land. That is claimed by White Ruthenia. Does, does Ukraine claim any land? I didn't give anything to Transmir. That's my bad. They should be getting some land. They completely forgot about them. Transfer all that over. So I feel like that's that's decent land for you. I think it's actually more land than you even conquered. What? It's going to be like a really sad looking Russia. I can tell you that right now. The Italian Empire has been declared. Hello, Italy. Welcome. The Ottomans are still trying to fight the Greeks and the Yemen, uh, Yemenis. What else is going to be happening? Because I think the game's going to be like, hey, you should release some territory. Nah. I, f I feel good. I feel okay. And because of our amazing work in the... I mean, because I can't proclaim Greater Finland, right? Well, I can't also because I did not take um, aggressive expansionism, so never mind. But I feel like this is a pretty good Finland. Probably more... It's probably actually at this point more Russian than it is... Uh, yeah, it's, it's more Russian than it is Finnish, but that, that's okay. I think just Petrograd has more population than our entire country had uh, beforehand. So you actually gave that land to the French Republic. So that was nice of you. Even, even giving back Nancy. But you're holding on to this part of Switzerland because I don't think you have the ability to actually give it to the Swiss AI.
You're fighting against those guys. Are you still fighting against? We're still actually at war with you. Who else are? It's just you. What? Oh my God. The Canadians won the war. We're now at peace. Peace and prosperity. Germany, are you going to release Russia? Now you can't join the Entente. But yeah, no, I feel like that went really well. Triumph of the French Exiles. Bring all their shoes back to Helsinki. Thank you for the equipment. Like, Germany, can you even release Russia like this? I'll get back these two states. Well, that's it. They're not getting anything else. Actually, can... Can can you actually give, give away that territory? At this point, it doesn't matter. The, the campaign's over. I'm allowed to take switch if I want to. Invade Denmark... You might actually need Petrograd as well to release them. I'm I'm not too sure actually. I don't think Transmere can like become Siberia or something like that. So I guess actually for right now this will be a good time for us to end this campaign. So thanks for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on Twitch, 